<laughs> oh, what are you doing? You caught me, man. The bosses see you? No. They see me? Okay. I don't think so. Good. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> I'm just watching a movie, American classic, on this 8 inch DVD, The New Chrysler Pacifica. Come on, man. What are you up to? We got some work to do, bro. Yeah, yeah, we do. It yeah, is we do. It's nice in here, though. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I better get in before I'm roomy. They see me. Got my bag of popcorn here. Nice. Enjoying the show. Bring this back a little bit. All right. What are we watching? Titanic. Yeah, of course, nice. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, guys. Of course, Steve here with Dalton again. We thought we'd take this opportunity to show off the new uh, 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. As you can see, it's kind of nice already. We're going to we'll showcase some features for you and let everybody know what this thing's really about. Sounds good. That sounds good. We'll go over a few of the features and um, give you guys the basic 101 on the new Chrysler Pacifica. So um, after this movie is over, of course, we'll, we'll show you guys some stuff. There we go. We'll All see right. you shortly. Back All to right. the show. Thank you. <laughs> MSRP at $28,595, both Kelly Blue Book and Consumer Digest awarded this vehicle as a 2017 Best Buy. Comes with five trim levels, from the base LX up to the loaded limited. Also available as a hybrid option, making it the first ever hybrid minivan with a staggering 84 miles per gallon electric. Optional premium Napa leather and 20 inch chrome wheels the Pacifica comes with 100 standard and available safety and security features. All new parallel and perpendicular park assist with 28 miles per gallon on the highway and 3,600 pounds of towing, this minivan has become the new standard. Introducing the all new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you the stow and go on the, the new Pacifica. Um, it's upgraded from the Chrysler Town & Country of years past. They've made it a lot easier on here. So, I've got the doors open for you. I already removed the floor mats. There's a button on the inside of here. I'll show you in a little bit. You press that and it moves your power front seat out of the way because that was always a little bit of a pain to do on your own. It's a little bit faster if it does that. So, you come around here, there's a floor mat here, normally here, and I've already pulled that out of the way. There's a little ring here, just like in the Town & Country. You're going to pull that up, okay? And it's going to hold itself up just like that, okay? Now you've got the seat back release that you could have moved the seat back while you're sitting there. We're just going to flip that once, squeeze it, whole thing falls down. Next one, there's an easy lever right there. Press that once and it falls right in, okay? A little bit of weight pushes it right down. It's a lot easier than models of the past. So now when I close this, you're going to want to make sure that these stick to it, okay? Just leave that down there, punch it, and you're good to go. Okay, so you'll get the same clearance as you would you know, from the town and country, but it's a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to put it back up. Just as easy, just go in reverse. Pull this little loop right here. That's going to stay up on its own. We're going to use this one lever. Pull it. Guide it back to its place just like that. Now I'm just going to push the seat back up and the headrest up. Now this time, if you look here, when I, when I pull this uh, cover down, I want to leave these two little panels on there. So don't grab it from there. You're going to grab it from the outside of it. And you'll see they pop right off. That's to make room for your track down there. Okay guys, so we're going to show you the rear seats now. Um, stowing these has never been easier. Uh, again, an upgrade from the town and country in the past. So we got a little well down here. We're going to keep that nice and clear as long as you want to stow your seats. So you got a flap right there. Your headrest falls down. These are numbered one and two. Pull the one and you'll hear it click. Pull the two and just drop it in. The weight will more than likely do it on its own. Okay, repeat the same thing for over here. Pull number one, listen, and then pull number two back. Sometimes you got to do them together on the bigger one. Now, the, the, I leave these straps under there just so it's uh, they're out of the way, okay? So you got your whole back floorboard open. Now, to get them up, same thing. The left seat can be a little bit heavier, of course, so you'll hear it click. You're going to skip number two this time. I'm sorry, number one. There you go. Lift your headrest up. Repeat the same thing over here. Easy as that. Okay guys, a couple more things I wanted to show you with uh, the key fob. It's about the same as it has been, just kind of redesigned a little bit. 
you'll have your sliding power doors, power tailgate, remote start, such like that. You can open all those from the fob here, but uh, you can also unlock the door without ever really touching this. So we're just going to leave that in your pocket, put your hand in there, and you'll hear the door unlock. Okay. You would hop in, you'd put your foot on the brake, press the button, and you're off to the race. To lock the door is the same process. There's a little chrome button right there. That's it. You're locked. You never even had to touch the key. So the only thing you really ever need the key for is to automatically open your side doors or your tailgate. Or if you wanted to maybe use remote start, in that case, you're going to lock the vehicle, double press that button. It's going to kick on automatically. If you decide to change your mind, you're not going anywhere, press that button one time. Turns it off and you're still locked. So, hey guys, something I get asked a lot about these power doors is are, are they safe for kids and animals and, and people that might be slower than to get out of the vehicle? Well, the answer is definitely yes. Okay, so they're both bump proof protected as well as the tailgate. So, that's no matter how they're closing automatically, if they are and they feel something get away, it's going to automatically bump itself and open back up. So, let me show you here. So, if you have somebody that maybe didn't get out quick enough, it's just going to feel their leg or whatever or pet. And it's going to automatically, and that's going to happen for the tailgate as well. So it's going to feel you, and it's going to pop right back up. So definitely very safe. It resets itself, close it again, and you're good to go. All right, guys, Dalton here. Steve went over some other things around the Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, he's passing the torch off to me. Uh, check this uh, screen out. Brand new, third generation, 8.4 Uconnect system here. Okay, so all your controls are listed below. You have your radio, your media player hook up your phone, your iPod, um, and a USB port. Controls, heated seats. Now, if you have some other features, you'd be able to access uh, if you had heated steering wheel, which it does come as an additional option. So the Uconnect apps, you can actually go through the total apps through this screen here. You can actually drag and drop them if that's your preference. Oh, there we go. So if I wanted my driver's seat here, I can go through and pick any specific app and set it on um, more of a, a quick touch. Climate control, now a whole lot of people probably don't use it here since you have the controls below. Um, this is where people mo find it most convenient, but you have two different options in regards to that. And then if you, of course, want to hook up your phone, which is very popular these days, you have uh, Bluetooth as well. Okay, one other thing I want to mention to you guys is this dial shifter right here. Um, it is a 9-speed front-wheel drive automatic transmission shifter. So don't get it confused with any climate controls or controlling your touchscreen here. Um, just simply turn the dial and put it in whatever gear that you need need to go. Okay, guys, so that wraps up our review of the uh, 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. What, what was your favorite feature? Oh, hands down the DVD player. My but guys, we're going to send it out to you. Um, we want to know your thoughts. Please leave some comments. Just let us know what you think. Yeah, and as always, you guys, uh, the likes and shares are uh, always appreciated. We uh, kind of live and die by those. So if you guys can let friends and family know that we're down here doing the good deed, uh, we appreciate that. So come find me or Dalton here at the, the dealership just about every day. We'll get you guys set up on one of these, show you the ins and outs, and anything else you want to see. All right. Sounds good. Maybe. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. What a good movie. I wonder what happened to that necklace.